Hi, this is Advanced Math Freak, and I'm making another tutorial. And uh, obviously, a happy a happy Eid, Eid Mubarak to those, to everybody. Uh, sorry, I've been not able to make a tutorial for a while because I've been a bit busy. But uh, right now, in case you haven't guessed, I'm going to show you not how to do Pokemon again, but how to do a kind of like vending machine. And as you can see, you pretty much use the exact same Pokemon script. If you don't know how to use this kind of script, then you're going to have to watch another one of my tutorials. But when you use and when you compile this script, obviously after changing the appropriate things, then what you would need to do is, on an advanced map, give it a second to load, and I'll go through on advanced map, you have to create a signpost event on your fake vending machine. Here we go. Should have opened this up before. Done now anyway. So I've put this in the rival house and I've created the signpost event and I've put it on the TV for now because you know, I can't be asked to make a vending machine, and I'm not sure if there's actually some tiles for a vending, uh, a vending machine. So I've just put it on the TV as a replacement. So and that's what I've done. So it's on the TV, and you just compile the script, and obviously put it in there. And then that's about it. When you talk to it, it just works. But I'm going to show you, there's a few bugs when you do do it, and I'm just going to show you them now. Let's see. See, look. There's the TV. We talk to it, and it says, Welcome to the Vendor 5000, which is good. Well, now this is the first problem that I think is a problem. Vending machines, you don't usually sell to vending machines. So, that might be one thing. And also, okay, nothing. Then it says, Is there anything else I could do? And I have no idea how to change that, really. That's a bit too in depth for me, but this does give some sort of element of vending machine ness. So if you want to make it like, oh, this is the you know most human-like vending machine, then this would be a perfect way of doing it. Now the second thing why this fat man is randomly in the rival's house, I will go through right now. Um, in another tutorial, they just this tutorial got two tutorials in it and in another tutorial I showed you how to heal Pokemon with PKSBUI which is not a bad program but if you want to have some sort of flow then you want to use this script which is another heal Pokemon script it does exactly the same thing but it's on notepad, PokeScript, Rubicon, whatever you want to call it because if you use this kind of script that way you can create some sort of battle frontier style uh, battle frontier style script where they heal you after or in between battles and that way it saves you a lot of trouble of having to go through PKSUI and all of that stuff so I'm just going to quickly go through this all this beginning bit is pretty simple and right here is where it changes a bit quite drastically because this combination of box set 4 and uh, hash raw OX68, what that does is it makes sure that the box closes before fade screen. You should know what fade screen do, does. It just fades the screen to black. And then this one would fade it back into the normal screen. So this would make sure the box actually goes away before the fade screen. Otherwise, you might notice if you use box set 6, that the box will still be there after the fade screen and it looks really unprofessional. Another another way of in if you don't if so for example obviously this is straight up do your Pokemon look weak, I'll heal them now. But if you wanted to give the player an option, so oh do you want me to heal your Pokemon, then you could do another combination where you do message box two sorry, message box two. That way you can do box set Five, which, if I remember correctly, is um, it is 
um, yes or no questions, then you would get rid of this rule 68 and you would write this function wait message box 2. But I'm not actually sure if that would work for box set 5. I've still got a bit of experimentation to do on that. So maybe you guys could do it for me. Anyway, we'll stick to the we'll stick to box set four and just message for now. Yeah? So you Pokemon look weak. Now you know what fade screen does and this I think you not being through this function, what fanfare does is it plays a little fanfare. Now, which fanfare is OX one hundred you may ask? Well, it's a heal Pokemon script, so heal, uh, so fanfare is going to be the healing jingle, where it goes, you know, well, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to make a fool of myself. Um, if you want to find out more fanfares, then if you go on advanced map, and you go on header, and you see all these music options, and I think, anyway, let me just make this fit in the screen, and I think that, look, obviously, look here, there. Oh, um, well, that would be just OX, you know, 100, and that's the healing jingle. So, for example, if you wanted to do the level up one, then you could have just done fanfare level up. But I'm not, I don't, I'm, I think the game would mess up if you tried doing one. So let's just say you did Pallet Town fanfare, because that way, because the Pallet Town fanfare is like a loop, it would take a long time for it to finish. So you might mess up your script and, you know, annoy the player by with, with a never-ending Pallet Town music scene. So we'll just leave it fanfare 100. And this bit here, special OXO. Now there's a few specials, and uh, I need to make a notepad of them and upload them. And you know, yeah, I've probably said this a billion times now. Advancedfreak.webs.com. I'll upload it on there. You can check that out. Uh, but I need to actually do it first. So you know, by the time I've uploaded this video, it might still not be there. So just bear with me. But this special in particular healed all of your Pokemon. So, you know, that way it's not just, you know, music and sound and whatever. We actually do something. Wait fanfare. Now, again, I'm guessing you, can, I'm guessing you know what that does. Just like pause move in, an, in a movement situation, wait fanfare waits for the fanfare to finish. So it's like the perfect pause. And as soon as the fanfare finishes, it goes on to the next function, which is fade screen. And just a message for a bit of flavor. Okay, done. Come again. You're here. Box at six. Because you know, it's finished and release and end. Now, what do we do? We test this out. Now, before all of this, I had just quickly prepared a weak squirtle just to test this out. Got into a beef with the ratata. So, you know. So we talk to him and he says, Your Pokemon look weak. I will heal them now. And you probably couldn't hear, but the jingle happened. That's because some well basically the jingle did happen and the one bit I can show you is, did my Squirtle get healed? Full health. Time to go fight some more Rattatus. So, sorry I couldn't prove that the fanfare jingle actually worked because of some, you know, audio issues and stuff. But, I'm sure you guys will believe me. And if you test out the script, then, you know, then you'll definitely believe me. So, you know, that's me finished. A nice, happy player being able to buy lemonades and stuff from the vendor 5000. And, uh, you know, this is two tutorials in one. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a lot. And um, just as a, not a sneak preview, but just a warning. Well, not warning. Okay, forget all of that. Just as a reminder, or not remind. Okay, basically, my next tutorial might be on something to do with spriting or, you know, uh, changing, your, not changing sprites, making sprites, recoloring sprites. So it's going to get a bit arty next time. So pull out your paint programs and pixels and all that stuff because, you know, well, I'll see you next time then. All right. In a bit, you know, subscribe, whatever, comment, you know. All right then. In a bit. Bye. I still don't know how to end videos, you know, so.